गाइस वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ सिमिलिंग ट्यूटोरियल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू जनरेट कोड फ्रॉम डेवलप मॉडल सो लेट्स सी व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू हियर सो आई हैव गिवन वन एनेबल सिग्नल टू दिस सब सिस्टम व्हिच इज इंक्रीमेंट सब सिस्टम हैज लॉजिक ऑफ काउंटर सो व्हेन द एनेबल सिग्नल इज वन द काउंटर विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड एंड द incremented output will be obtained if the enable is zero then the previous value will be held and that will be the output so to generate a code what we have to do is go in model configuration parameters and in code generation you can see here target selection so select target file target file is actually a target language compiler so if you browse through it you can see here different target files like autosar then embedded coder then visual c or c++ and real time target language compiler so select the target language compiler in which you want the code for your model then in report check this option that is create code generation report so that once the model is built and, and the code generation is successful it generates one report which has interface report then the summary report and the code files plus it contains what parameter name is given to the model block okay so that's it for this model configuration parameter okay so to generate a code you can use directly the shortcut key that is control v so press control b you can see here in the left corner that it shows compiling and then building so once it is ready you can see here there is this code generation report if you go in code interface report scroll down so you can see here what are the parameter source and what is the name given to this blocks in comments so s1 s2 s3 we will see that in code and the code identifiers and data types okay so let's open this .c file that is codegen.c so if you scroll down in the code you can see here this line that if rtp output is greater than 0.0, .0 and if you see the previous comment for it that is output for enabled subsystem so this is the logic that is if the enable is greater than zero what should be the logic executed and you can see here in enable port colon then there is this word is two so as we had seen in code interface report the enable block is given this s2 name so it is easier for us to map the code with the model and vice versa okay so that's how we generate code using code generation option of simulink so that's all for this video if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and thank you guys thank you for watching